So welcome to vlog number 7 on the Nanji model tugboat build. Playtime is over now and normal service has been resumed and we are back with the tub here. So the first difference is that the tub has now been rubbed down completely. Uh, that took around about 5 hours for me to do of various different grades of wet and dry sandpaper. Um, it started out with 240 grit on the seams. The seams are pretty good on the model really um, from the moulding. If, if you get really bad seams you can scrape them down with a standing knife blade or an old chisel to start with but I didn't need to do that on this. Uh, just started with 240 wet and dry um, then moved to 320 and started rubbing down the whole of the body with 320 then 400 then 600 uh, as we've gone along we've been filling in various different crevices and holes um, around the... Uh, it's not going to work is it? Let's get you around this way. Yeah the main one obviously being dealt with is around the drive tube shaft here and around the rudder tube there. Um, we did have a little mishap with the uh, fixing the screws for the motor bracket and we cracked the gel so that's all been ground back and filled in there and various different bits and pieces around. Um, I've not dealt with all the dings and the scratches I figured I'd try and use some of them for uh, little features uh, model of a life of a tugboat is perhaps a little bit hard and you expect some dings and some scrapes on it so I'm going to try and turn some of those into features uh, rust and stuff like that if we can but pretty much this is ready for the first uh, coat of paint uh, which is a red oxide primer uh, according to the drawings so uh, that will be the main colour below the waterline above the waterline it will be black but I'm just going to coat the whole lot with red oxide to start off with other things that have been going on take a look inside start at this end uh, you can see I've added a plate in here for all the components for the radio control system. Battery box has been added, fuse box has been added there. There's a little stud down here. Right, you see him yeah, just down there, that's going to be my zero volt stud there. So all my zero volt lines will be taken back to that stud uh, and then onto the battery. Uh, no elements of this are within the plan. I just made these up as I went along really measuring out, cutting out and gluing bits together at this end, flip them around, you'll probably see a bit better this way. Uh, I've had a uh, made a little box up for the servo for the steering, so there's a little uh, arm that will go between the two. It says that's all we made and sized as well, so that will sit in there and then go over there, and then all the servo will operate the steering. Um, again, no plans for that, that's just cut, made out of cardboard templates and made up and glued together. Everything's been fixed in uh, as much as I possibly can up to this point with uh, fiberglass. And I should be ready to fit the actual decks when I've finished painting. So I've actually deliberately taken out the drive and the court nozzle to allow me to rub down and paint really it'll be much easier to rub down and paint at this end with all those components out um, because I've taken those components out I've not fitted the decks yet although they are pretty much ready to go in as I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get the motor and the drivetrain back in with the decks in place it's just easier without them um, but other than that the three beams have been fitted across here ready for the decks to sit on and the stringers are there anyway uh, and once I said, once we're painted, it should be good to go. Um, I'll just chuck him out of the way. Uh, other things that have been going on, I've started building the crane up, or I should say I've taken over from building the crane up. Um, my dad had started this. Um, see if we can zoom in a bit. Uh, these are little mouldings that come from uh, the tugboat company uh, and they just get glued together. My dad had glued them together. I've just started filling in the little holes that are left, sanding them down, 
And again, this is getting quite close ready for painting as well. Um, put all the metal parts in there for the rams and the like to sort out. Um, a little base there. So that's going on. Um, I do have a little sheet as well for how to assemble the crane and set of instructions. So it's just literally following that along. Uh, not too much to worry about in that case. Um, the other thing I've been doing is cutting out a few shapes here and there for the drawings. Uh, these are all the ribs to go around in between the deck and the hull. Unfortunately, I have cut these out of the wrong size sheet. Uh, it should have been made out of thinner sheet. I didn't realise uh, the components. I always thought the components were a bit haphazardly laid out on the sheets, but they've been laid out based upon the size or the thickness of the sheet of wood that you use to cut them out of. So all the shapes for one thickness are all on one sheet and so on. I just didn't pick that up at all, so I don't know. I might actually use them as they are or I might redo them. Uh, we'll see what it looks like when I get the uh, decks in. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is we'll set up now and do a spot of painting. 